first time doing podcasts in a while. Let's loosen us up a bit, first of all. Fuck the Queen! Yeah. Fuck the Queen! <laughs> the King's brother oh my God. is Jeffrey Epstein's friend. Oh my God. Glad we got it in there. Yeah. Oh. Off the rip. Thank you, Callum. Thank you. <laughs> unknown project. Is it unknown parkour or unknown project? Let's clear this up first of all. The unknown project. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And who, who are we missing? Actually, who's here, first of all? And then. <laughs> so we got, for anyone. Uh, not watching on join. <laughs> we have uh, Joseph Rizzo to my left. Across from me would be Lane Camerata and yours truly with this succulent voice. That's Vincent Vinciguerra, all New York born and bred. <laughs> the uh, succulent voice. We're missing Jake, Jesse, Chris, uh, David. And Miguel. And Miguel. And Miguel. Okay. I can't forget our PT. All right. Try not to fuck around with stuff on the table too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did uh, Unknown Project start? Because I, I remember first seeing like a few years ago, maybe four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I think around like what five or six six years ago now. I was saying almost it's six. six years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it was Long just a uh, bunch of bunch of us just on Staten Island, hung out, trained around, um, and there's not like a big community from where we're from um, like yeah like we're part of the New York like community but like we're on Staten Island so it's like a ferry ride away from like the city so there's legitimately like at one time there was like 10 of us training like that's right. it uh, yeah. kept hanging out trained um, and then Jake kind of banded together with like me and uh, Chris and then we just kind of started pulling everyone in from Staten Island when I met them, actually, I uh, was just starting training, and I saw them at a park, and they saw me in my baggy sweatpants with my uh, my Reebok on and everything, and they were like, you do parkour, and I was like, trying, <laughs> and I got to walk over and whatnot, but it just shows you how like tight of a community it was. It yeah. doesn't stand out, and it's got to be a maximum of like 10 people at one point. Yeah. You know? at, at one point, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, not at, at one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. so memed in New York like in the, there's five boroughs but everyone's like the Staten Island's not the fucking fifth borough like yeah. people try saying there's four mm. and for everyone out there who doesn't know we're in Staten Island which is a two hour ride from uh, there to the city yeah. so two hours hike. it's Should a hike for us yeah. 30 minutes yeah. to the ferry and then how long across minutes, the ferry yeah 30 minutes from the ferry and then if you want to go anywhere in the city you gotta take a train cause you're right, all so. the way at the bottom once yeah. the ferry takes you're literally at the, like the butt end of Manhattan and yeah. then you go up from there so it's always a drag for them to travel a little bit well, I've been I've been saying to everyone that you're the New York guy so I'm, yeah. you made me a liar now okay. no no I mean, we are, <laughs> we we are New York we are yeah. borough still 100% yeah yeah so. I technically Dude, live right next to Queens right yeah yeah. yeah, but we are in the city like mostly every weekend, Saturday, Sundays, right. like because the, just the spots are better in the city. So yeah. we take the hike. We don't care. We've also destroyed the Staten Island spots. So yeah, we yeah. need to branch out yeah. and get There's some. There's not spots. a lot left for us to do out there. So yeah. yeah, yeah, just trying to find more. Yes, what is it about New York as well? Like um, magic. <laughs> New York and Colorado. It seems to be they're the very standout places in the U.S. Iconic. Um, in terms of style, maybe more like European style, or, mm. or even like old school British style, like very jumps focused and yeah. maybe our influences. And stuff. I mean, that's like what, Nick Ortiz uh, showing us British people yeah. videos, or Max showing me the whole European scene. Like as soon as we entered, I feel like that had a lot of influence. It's mm. what uh, it's what we grew up on. Yeah, you know mm. I mean, we didn't have like a lot of American, uh, I guess, people to like influence us. It all came from here, yep. so we watched for ages and ages and just kind of took it up. I can't think of one American that I watched like back in the day religiously as much yeah. as I watched like Kai, Phil, like fucking. I used to watch uh, Brandon Douglas and Dylan Baker all the time, dude. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. those are, I those are except yeah. I found them later though. Like, yeah, I no, was me too. Late teenager. Found them later. Yeah. True. I didn't really know about them. But trained guys, for, like five years by then. I was just saying, you guys started way before me, so it makes sense. At yeah. that point, I was like, I was watching you guys too when yeah. I first started. So. Yeah. So what's it like uh, now finally coming to the UK? It is all your first time? I can't remember. For training? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 100% yeah. just for like training. It's ridiculous. Mm. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you're here at a good time as well. We're, yeah. We're, we are a couple of days after the big wall open and it is potentially the most people I've ever seen. No, in it was Brighton. a small turnout. Not yeah, no, no. The spots here <laughs> are was, fucking garbage. Uh, nothing not. holds up. <laughs> Grip shit. Anti climb paint everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's literally so, a dreamland. It's so fucking land of make-believe here, especially coming from America or like New York where 
you could get kicked from a spot in like sub 10 minutes sometimes sub 5 like you mm. get 3 jumps in and then they're like get out you're like yeah. fucking rad they're aggressive with it too so like, they don't they do not care they will kick you out so mm. Or they'll come up on the rooftop with a machete. Yeah. And have you ever had weapons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we have we've had yeah. baseball bats, machetes. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a little bit of yeah. a different different atmosphere. I had had a baseball bat. Um, recently, I told you about that, that guy that had came down to fight like twelve of us, one man. Yeah, to fight twelve of us loon, with a bro. with a key in his hand, and then punched me in the head. Yeah. <laughs> and that was um, recent too. That was like relatively recent. Yeah, yeah. like uh, a yeah. month and a bit ago. Or oh, something. that's yeah, that's a little fresh. Um, but yeah, we had the the guy with a baseball baseball bat that was in like a story video and stuff uh a guy came out mini spot once with a crowbar oh and God. the same guy that uh jay batrick who battered the guy with the key in his hand that yeah. punched me in the head uh he also um got the guy with a crowbar at mini spot in a fucking headlock and like mm-hmm. <laughs> just grappled it out of his hands yeah oh my God. anything anything like cornered. that breaks out you're lucky if jay batrick's there with you <laughs> <laughs> What well, what weren't you on a separate roof when the dude was just with you with the machete? We were like literally a roof across, like five of us looking no. at Lane. No, no, no. no we were weren't you the, the closest? We I was were... the closest because I was at the corner yeah. where the two buildings met. But uh, yeah, no, we were all on the same roof. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to talk to him, but I could not understand he, him really. No, nah, he just went off. Came up right? hooting and hollering like my mom yeah. has cancer. Yeah. There's a hole in my roof. Just You're waving like, it around, bro. Oh, 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 and it's just all like seven of us or like six of us, right? On the roof and we're like, what, what, yeah. what? And he's like waving around. We actually did like a really like, like Italian thing. Like he was waving around. We all just go, no, 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 no. Italian we're, motorboat. We're like, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Like no, no, six no, no, of us no, no, at once. No, we're like, no, we're just, we're just jumping. We're just jumping. Very aggressive though. Yeah, yeah, we were able to aggressive. pacify him though, like genuinely. But like realistically, like, it was like one of those moments where your eyes go wide and you're like, is this really about to happen? Am I yeah. gonna get swung out with a yeah, blade exactly. right now? And there's only like one specific area for like roof training in New York. It's Chinatown. Really? That's it. How come? Don't listen to them. There's shit midtown I was just as well. Saying, I mean, there's like more it's stuff. it's it's, it's yeah. the easiest place to yes, access it. That's what yes, I mean. You know what I mean? Okay. Everywhere else is just a lot harder, and the buildings are a lot further from each other you Chinatown is all groups, like sure. low low rise roofs right. connecting all the way through yeah. so like it's like it's, it's similar to yeah. Brighton yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 I was gonna say like we, we I took you guys on like a bit of a Brighton rooftop tour yesterday and that's yeah. and <sighs> nothing like that in New York like we don't have yeah. that type of interconnection it's usually like a straight line of like maybe six roofs and you get yeah. some wiggle room to like maneuver and I imagine uh, New York rooftops were, like you just They're imagine crepid. New York City to be like like the built up metropolis it is and everything like you imagine it to be like the worst fucking infrastructure in the goddamn country (laughs) there's no upkeep what do my taxes go to yeah we were were on a roof in uh, times square me and lane were doing like a line together and i went for a cat pass no not over drop or anything just to like a ledge completely just feet just smashed right through mm-hmm. it oh, God. like yeah so i had to do it to the right after that but we were like dude roof, new york rooftops what is what architecture are crumbling underneath my hands like i'd go, go for a handhold like a story up mm. above the ground and literally just snap on me and yeah. i'm like just free falling and i'm it's like all, that's all old stuff yeah, yeah even just walking on the fire escapes we have a video oh on God, our page just where, uh, to shit. oh dude, dude not no, so steps rushing. falling off dude yeah literally right. we had to climb using like the outsides yeah. of the fire escape to- in the side just creeping down yeah. the rails are fucking wiggling mm-hmm. Lane literally in the clip he steps on a stair insta just shoots yeah. down like four stories yeah. just gone you're yeah. like alright let's not use the yeah. stairs and I was like three around. feet away yep. from him too it almost fell on my head so. yep. Jesus Christ it's yeah. so sketchy it's it terrifying. is very sketchy <laughs> yeah, that's why it's so hard like it's just but also also um, people wielding machetes and, and people maybe just like the idea of New York just being a more dangerous place, like, yeah. and and just the idea that someone's going to come out and assume that you're more of a threat than yep. someone yeah. just exactly jumping around. Apparently, yeah, someone got a gun pulled on them too. Uh, like, that's I don't, no surprise. No, we don't know if the guy was like lying or not. Like, just trying to get us off the roof. He's like, oh, right. someone tried breaking in the week prior, and the cops pulled a gun on him. Like, he's trying to get right. us off, and I was like. Oh, Are you I, gonna pull I, a gun on I was like, what's going on? Yeah, that was that. such a bizarre conversation. But yeah, that's that's another thing that. Uh, obviously springs to mind for New York and anywhere in the US mm-hmm. to be fair that's like mm-hmm. a huge Cowboys. difference for us like in the UK we we don't have to worry about police turning up or just like residents and stuff just 
pulling a gun. Yeah. 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 Um, Everyone was really nice. Well, you guys got shooting. nabbed by yeah. a BB gun, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't you? Like, really nice. Huh? Max got shot with a fucking BB gun missioning one time. I mean, yeah, I know, we don't have real guns, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But no, like, it wasn't no, a fucking, it wasn't a BB, <laughs> like a BB sounds like a kid's like toy with a little no, yellow ball. Like, pew, 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 pew. No, no. But like, they, they had um, a metal an, an air rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, shit, that shit fucks. Like that, yeah, it's no joke. You're bleeding, like it's in your skin. Sometimes they leave them in, like by the bone. I know people who've had them deep enough that they're like, no, it's in me for the rest of my yeah. life now. Yeah, if that gets you, Sick. if that gets you in the neck, yep. like oh. gets you in the eye, right in the face. carotid. Oh, like, eye, blind carotid artery. You're just sitting there squirting for a bit, fucking trying to mission down. Imagine. Yeah. So if any anyone that doesn't know, Max Cave and Luke Harty um, were shot by a guy with an air rifle in like 2014, 2015 or something. And I remember all the comments, like <laughs> because the, the headline of the newspaper and stuff, and I think of our. Um, on, on Facebook and everything when we posted about it, it was like oh some of the guys have got shot and there's like photos of them bleeding, <laughs> bleeding. From, the, bleeding from the stomach and the arm and everything Gangster and status. looking super distraught like with their shirts off and lots yeah. of blood Jeez. and like <laughs> and then when it came up it was like an air rifle I just remember a lot of belligerent Americans <laughs> commenting like oh, oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, that, that's, that's not a fucking real gun yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pea shooter <laughs> luckily no fucking firearms drawn but the Atlanta community because they have open care in Georgia and I visited them recently they were doing a descent and they got told to fuck off twice and they were like fuck it let's send it a third time like being cheeky guy came out with a Glock literally just pointed it at them was like get the fuck out and they had yep, enough footage play, play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm out I'm out I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I'd be down in a second. Oh my god! Yeah, but how do you yeah, like? Yeah. He didn't know that they were cowboys too, because it's open carry. Like some of the boys have guns there too. That train, I assume, like they could have just Mexican standoff at a fucking descent. But that shit's freaky to me. Well, that's the, that's the thing. Like, you don't know who has a gun as yeah. well. So yeah. like, it's kind of like so nuclear that makes deterrence. The person that brings out the gun and like is so ready to like cowboy aim, shit. Like, it's also like. I'm going to pull first. Like, yeah. so, like, I don't know. Um, it's yeah. a wacky place, honestly. America's fun, but it's definitely wacky sometimes. Oh, I definitely want to experience the Manhattan rooftops, though, for sure. Yeah. If you ever yeah. come by us, we'll show you what we know. Yeah. We yeah, know yeah. a couple couple routes that are that are good, mm. so. True. We, we uh, uh, Max Henry and Christine Dietrich are in the room, by the way. Hi, guys. The, Hello. From the peanut gallery. Um <laughs> Um, when we were in, uh, we tried to get on some roofs in Times Square in 2014, and um, we were part we were part of the unsuccessful team, weren't we? Yeah, we got into the yeah. kitchen, and then we got into like some private party, and they just like oh, you, escorted us. You're down. in the same the yeah. same team. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys lost. I think you guys lost a shit ton of footage from New York too. At yeah, the end yeah, of the we trip. did. Yeah, fucking up. rest in peace, son. Yeah, it was so annoying. I I did a lot of stuff I was happy with I yeah. got a really nice like doubles line with, with Guillaume Mantaro yeah. as well such good fucking uh, clothes Long Island but yeah rest in peace that footage um, yeah fucking hell that's, that's when we met I guess you hosted uh, a few of us yeah I think I was 18 or 19 at the time <laughs> that's jokes yeah it's so funny 27 now son <laughs> not even fucking primed yet for <laughs> 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 <It's like, laughs> <brother>, ladies listening <laughs> no no, no. <laughs> I'm a taken man and I am a good man. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was always like, the, it was definitely a time to remember, but we were definitely a part of the unsuccessful mission group. We got held up literally in a kitchen. Like we were just, like chefs are walking around and we're just with our backpacks. Sasha's got his fucking camera in fucking pilot mode, just recording everything. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I don't even know how the fuck we could get on this one. <laughs> That's it. We've done that a couple of times too, where I don't know if you guys remember the hotel. Yeah, but we kept going through staff's back rooms yeah, 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 and yeah, getting yeah. to like different elevators. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just a maze, bro. Yeah. Fucking and, weird. And by the end of it, the elevator, we couldn't do anything when we got inside. It won't even let us out because we didn't have a key card. And oh. after like a minute of us all like freaking out, the elevator started moving. The yeah. doors close and it just goes Went down, down all, all the way to the dude, basement. Just right, the security. Up. Like, and we just, we just <laughs> booked it through, found a door and just left. We walked like, through, we were like, oh, don't know how we ended up. Like, just playing fucking ignorant. Like, how does this elevator work? And just walk past them. <laughs> I loved, when we did that roof mission in Times Square, were you, were we in the same group? Because we got through the kitchen. Mm hmm. And, and then we were at, like, some private party. And then we realized that the door was locked at the top and had to go back through yeah. the busy kitchen. And then it's just, like, eight 
homeless looking dudes with <laughs> torn up pants <laughs> yeah. and a family that's wealthy enough to rent out like an entire room of a Times Square building yeah. for their private party. It was we so just, good. just like walk through everybody looking so I think the place. hostess spotted us. I was like, is there a way down? She's like, are you supposed to be here? I was like, no, nah, not at all. But like, can we like... <laughs> We're looking for the bathroom. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Got a, <laughs> Kind of got lost. <laughs> Feign ignorance. That's how you mission in New York. You just pretend you're smooth brain what are you talking about dude eric rivera lets us into every building oh my god i'm just looking for my boy eric rivera and like i don't know dude just moved here (laughs) just moved here that's what we said if someone caught us and they'd be like oh what are you doing we're just like our friend invited us eric rivera there's there's been at least like six or seven times we've gone into a building and been like oh our friend eric he lives here in the apartment buildings and they're like there's no apartment buildings up here. And we'd yeah. be like, oh, okay, have a good day. Yeah. And then walk right back <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had, um, uh, we have our own Eric Rivera. Is, is he a real guy? <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, no, yeah. I know an Eric Rivera. So, so he we, is a real guy. Oh, do you actually? Is he really? Nice. No. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. So we have, uh, we have David Barnard and uh, <laughs> most of the time, John Benoit. John um, Benoit. That's a good I one. think he was something to do with YouTube or something. Um, an old... Rest in peace, old David Barnard. Contact. Yeah, rest in peace, David Barnard. Be- Max and Benj and, and maybe Drew's old driving instructor. One singular <laughs> tear. <laughs> that's, that's in the podcast. Um, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, once in um, Seoul, South Korea, we were trying to get into the largest, well, I think the tallest building, I can't remember the name of it even, but um, it was a construction site at the bottom and we just expected our way in just like and just walked in got to like you know those gates that they're like they're like that you, yeah they're, yeah, they're locked yeah. there was no way past them plus there was like a security guard maybe a couple right there and and we just walked up to it and all of us just grabbed a like they had like a row of hard hats and we all just got one each like oh my stuck God. them on our heads like and we were just like can we go in <laughs> and and they were just like uh who what what <laughs> <Just like, laughs> and we were just like yeah we're, we're here meeting john benoit we're uh, doing a tour of the site oh my god something like that just oh. yeah john benoit john benoit and then we started getting up our phones just like random like email like to show them <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like yeah come on like john benoit <laughs> oh john benoit john benoit john benoit all of us just like and they were just so confused five british <laughs> caucasians just like it's and okay. we're just, just standing there like waiting like kind of looking pissed off and looking at our watches and stuff like oh why aren't they letting us yeah. <laughs> Obviously, just like trying as hard as we could. These guys are just like, nah, yeah, we're not having really any fun. of it. <laughs> we eventually just had to take the hard hats off and, and just look, and just go. Like, and we were already like quite far into the building, and they were just so you had hard hats on too. You were playing. Yeah, we, we all yeah. just like grabbed the hard hat without any of us like like thinking or talking just to grab them on it's like can we uh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a photo of it somewhere i'll have to That's show you but it's like good. seven of us write that down write that down good tactics good tactics <laughs> <laughs> just all of us in sync john bonoy john bonoy sent us what the hell what what the hell? um yeah where were where were um you two um jojo and lane um canadian in man. like 2014 when when we all met on the chat oh, USA, yeah. we met everyone. I don't know if we knew you yet. We just knew each other by face, like we didn't yeah. even hang out like that. Right, but must've... you were training still. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were throwing down. I must have met Vinny once or twice through passing of like right. New York jams, but like nothing too crazy. I just started training at that time. Right. Yeah, yeah I literally just started. So that's yeah. so trippy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Literally like four or five years deep at that point. Hmm. I get it. Yeah. It's true. But, yeah, I was just saying that, the, like I told you before. It was my first year training, and I happened to meet uh, Chris Piccarello in a, a wrestling practice. Right. Who's uh, one of the guys on the team, and he told me to meet him at a park, uh, like the next day. And I was like, sure. So I went there, and I was just walking around, and Chris didn't show up at all. And I saw JoJo, I saw Jake, uh, a past member existing, and uh, that guy existing walked over to me and literally saw me head to toe dressed like baggy pants, like I existent. said, Reebok. Is that EXO? No. No, 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 we don't talk about it, so. yeah, <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're, you're a cool dude, yeah. D- d- dude, <laughs> yeah, existing was, uh, part of, like, the Staten Island group that was leagues ahead for, like, parkour for, right. like, New York at the time, uh, doesn't train too much anymore, um, lives with Jake, though, yeah. they live together, um, but, he's yeah. still done stuff. Like back home in Staten Island that we haven't done yet. Yeah, yeah, that back in like touched. 2014. Just one of those crazy. assassins that you just like he'll he'll never really get like the light of day, but like 
in our eyes. Like, he's got the credit. Like, he's fucking mm. done some gnarly shit. He's yeah. top tier, definitely. Yeah, top tier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, y- you guys are originally here to... Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure if we can talk too much about this. But we, we were going to do the day before the big wall open. Like, the big wall open was, like the afterthought pretty much the mm-hmm. original idea was to do a citywide skill comp which was invite only yeah and um differing to the previous similar comps that have happened like that in the past we wanted to do it um team format so there'll be seven teams with seven people on them and you got we, we pretty much reached out to max henry yeah. to to put together an american team and um you guys, you guys were on there, uh, as well as oh, was Jared Luty, uh, Davis, Davis Vasconcelos. Yeah, 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 yeah. So with his torn hamstring, yeah. be able to do a lot now. Ed Scott tore Davis Vasconcelos' hamstring. Yep, right, <laughs> rightfully so. Yeah. Hope rightfully you're proud of yourself, so. Ed. You've yeah. ended his fucking career. Come no, on, man. No. Come Round on, two, Ed. boys. Let's see it again. <laughs> Get the oh, gloves yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. This time, pay per view. If, yeah. if, yeah. if Stara are gonna fucking host some boxing matches like other YouTubers. That would be that would be one of them on the. I'll represent line. America gladly at one sixty. You one sixty strong. You want to fight Hendo? You're in his weight range. I yeah, love yeah. Hendo, but if you wanted to throw down, we could throw down a little bit. But I need money. I'm not just looking at throw down for funsies, bro. I need to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Hendo's too sweet, dude. I can never. Yeah, fight you're that real guy. sweet. Like I don't. You're, you're a real nice, dude. I have nothing against you, but if we wanted to tussle a little bit, I don't care. That's cool. I, I saw him throw that water in that guy's face, bro. I, oh I yeah, Ali Law. <laughs> Ali Law deserved it, Joe. Good shit. He was running his mouth talking that gab a little too much <laughs> running that gabber um so yeah that that was the original reason why mm-hmm. you were here but um for us um hoping to do like the star awards at the end of the year the big wall open and the team competition it would have been way too it would have been too much money and yeah. i think now with how much went how much organization went into the big wall open like expecting us to do both of these events like back to back on the back, same yeah, weekend so that, that would have been too yeah. much yeah. yeah it's a cool concept though in but, the future yeah For i sure. mean we might as well say it on here fuck it because people are gonna people enough people know about it anyway and if pe- someone's gonna steal the idea then you're hearing it here there you go it was our idea first so yeah. fuck you if you hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. fucking yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, okay. tm motherfucker <laughs> the whole giles building in public things like well the idea is publicized, so if you if you steal it, then everyone knows you're a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, if you tweak it enough, then it becomes original in of itself. But yeah, we, we haven't we haven't cancelled it. We're we're just postponing it to next year. So okay. more more reason for you guys to come back. Oh, we'll be back. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do, come. Do back. you think you'll specifically do uh, suicide wall again at some point, or like ideally you're gonna switch it up? Probably. That's that's what everyone's been asking. I mean, it's got to be like a similarly iconic spot, which mm-hmm. is also open to the public and could. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. People are talking about IMAX because it's some like even like, way more iconic. And imagine get... that fucking place fuck crowded man. though, fucking everyone lining up to like hear me like. Oh, fuck. Also with the drop, like people doing, people oh, just sending energy. stuff over Woo! the 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 iconic like high to low. Like, you can't even call it the high to low, con gap anymore because it's just everyone's been destroying it. Yep. Uh, even fucking uh, Giorgio Bartolucci recently the, with the reverse vault pre and dash pre the same dude, day dude, dude. Italia so absolutely phenomenal oh, yeah, big Literally. but yeah Ridiculous. that would be absolutely terrifying and if you remember like at IMAX before with the day when people bought brought crash mats there yep. and, and I don't know if you heard about this guy Callum Manzi who did a front flip from the very top to the very bottom Oh Mr. yeah, Matt's they were um they were actually telling us about that when we were there. Yeah, that yeah, happened yeah, like yeah. right before we I show had up. No idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like crazy. fronted. He didn't oh, do it like from where the cat is. Yeah, he did it from like the like if the cat's like here, he did it from this wall down all the way and missed the crash pad. And he's alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah okay. He, sh- <laughs> he, sh- he shattered. Oh, yeah. he that was a big pause. Yeah. <laughs> he shattered his ankle. Is there but, footage um, of it? Yes, yes, there was. I wouldn't oh. know. I wouldn't know where to find that. Um, um, post it up, guys. I say but perhaps, he's perhaps he's fine. I think he's able to train again, but I don't think he is. Don't want a anymore. shattered joint though. I've, That's I've, not worth, bro. It's I've seen him annoying. since. He had some horrible fracture blisters as well. Not Jeez. quite as bad as Sasha's over here, but <laughs> 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 but more gnarly color maybe. I remember seeing them. They were like black and horrible. Um, 
Uh, we saw Dom's ankle too after the fucking Red Bull uh, yeah, like chest us. slam he did, bro. He yeah. showed us photos of his ankle afterwards. Dom. Tomato. Yeah. Tomaso. The chest slam. Uh, uh, you would, Red you Bull. Red Bull in motion. Yeah. He went. Oh, right. Yeah. Side he side. did the side to the slant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his toe touched his shin. Went like he showed us the frame. Chucked his shoulder. No, I haven't seen But that. he was talking so much jive when I met him like two years ago. He's like, he's like, got ankles of steel, mate. And fucking indestructible. And then he showed, he's like, oh, spoke a little too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, too, that he was training a little, a little after that Dude, as well. Dude, 10 days yeah, later, he was back to training. And then ridiculous. he fucking railed his ankle out with like yeah. a drop front. Just a, a, Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the thing about Dom. Like, his. his that was the beauty of it before like his cascade of injuries that has mm-hmm. now like made him he was an iron slightly man. weaker before yeah he was yeah. iron man before yeah <laughs> um sure. and his his mindset his strong mentality coincided with his indestruct indestructibility kind of thing definitely and definitely now similar. like the the mentality hasn't like um, gone down to his level of mm-hmm. like yeah. his lower physical attributes, and he there, keeps yeah. like he he will recover like pretty fast, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, but then um, he will just fuck himself up again and just like keep plowing himself into yeah. the ground. The mind, but is now I think, the body is not. but now I think it's uh, come closer, and he's kind of um, uh, realizing his mortality a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The fragility it's, 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 of it's, fucking uh, the anatomy. Yeah, what's the word? Like it's. Um, Smooth brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think he's got a good balance now, and he's yeah. Hopefully, will slowly build up. I would love to see him at like uh, be NA- back to instru- indestructibility. Oh yeah, I would love to see him perform in like style or something at NAPC one year. I know well, he went he there. Was, um, he was supposed to compete. Supposed to. Yeah, 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 but his injury was too much that he just ended up uh, judging oh, style. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's, like, it's, oh, it's, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was, they invited stupid. him out. So. He was he yeah. was planning to he was planning to try compete in all three, and it's like, mate. Oh know. my god. <laughs> no. Jared mentality, bro, just fucking yeah. cracked. But yeah, maybe like in 2021, like you'd have a go at that, and I sin- sincerely think he would not do well, but he'd be able to like keep up and yeah. like hold his own and survive the whole. The whole thing. Yeah. Um, he went on a podium like my boy. That's for sure. No matter how yeah. good Dom is in scale. No, I, d- I doubt it. it. It's funny. I've spoke about this before. Like he's seen as one of the best, but you wouldn't necessarily consider him um, like podiuming in any of the three skill, speed, or style. I think and maybe style. I could see him getting on podium honestly because yeah, he throws yeah. some like gnarly big tricks if he did a double side to his uh his front and cody'd out of it yeah like, oh. <laughs> I, oh my god for nah. from 2015 or whatever I, I just love him as a street athlete like how he pushes the envelope that's like i love competition format like these guys can speak more about competition but like street shit is just how i was like raised with parkour so mm. i have a gr- great appreciation for anyone that could throw down outside on conk yeah for sure yeah, absolutely. We need more street comps. Yeah, like yes, we know a hundred percent, bro. I love that. Such good energy. Yeah. How was that for you guys? SPL. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll talk about finish talking about Big Wolf first, but yeah, oh yeah, how dare you? Um, it was oh, okay, yeah. it was something else, man. Like it was first crazy to be here, crazy to to be around the amount of athletes that we were around, and just like the the format of like the comp and everything, like jam style, just throw down. Yeah. Like it was, I've never really done mm. that before. Um, Very chaotic and yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, yeah. not yeah. as well yeah. organized as yeah. No, yeah. Like it chaos. worked. It worked. Yeah, it, yeah, it did. People did some shit. Sides. Yeah. People did some shit though. It was, it was wacky. I was just trying to keep up, to be honest. Dude, who was that kid <laughs> that fucking exploded with the gloves on that tried running from uh, the I guy in the yellow? Yeah, was he American? Phase. I, I think I heard he was. That would that would that would make sense. Anyone listen? I got something in my bag. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, you got the you got that nine son. <laughs> no, um, I'm sure you're you're cool American, but I I personally don't like people wearing gloves. I think that shit's fucking whack. Like, I, go get your hands callous. Rega- <laughs> regardless of the gloves, like it's the stuff he was doing yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. what he was wearing. I mean, yeah, you look like a fucking say, idiot. Yeah, yeah you felt you fucking heard the man. <laughs> 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 no, it's it's more like that he he was going for shit and like failing and then just well there was a few attempts know. that sh- that shit that t- let alone like the six hundred eyes watching however mm-hmm. many people were fucking there like watching people just eat it like immediately deterred me where I was like I'm not even gonna run this shit now but mm-hmm. these boys were fucking throwing down killing it yeah. yeah dude seeing the stuff that people were throwing like 
Brody Paulson doing <laughs> the, the dive kong out of the suicide wall again, run, bro. I saw Wrecked the Wrecked end it of it, bro. I saw the end of it, and all I just saw was his last gallop, hands forward, and I was like, yeah, it's crazy. What? It's I didn't think that was going to happen. No. I, I knew a couple of days ago he was, like, prepping it, and I was just like, if it was a wall, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But it's a rail. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a rail, and you don't have, like, a huge amount. Like, it's a low rail. Like, yep. To get your feet under you afterwards. Yep. Yeah. Like, and, and then the first time he, like, dive rolled. Yeah, and took, took it to it his really shoulder nice. to like, a little bit. A yeah, yeah. Hit. And then second one was, like, perfect. True mm. chimp mentality, bro. The way he yeah. just locked on that rail and just tugged himself yeah. over. To Brody's do that, a great athlete. That man. much pressure. Oh, bro, bro. Badillans and Badodi, bro. They're fucking top notch. Badodi. We don't know. I don't know how to differentiate them yet. So it's like the Dylan Bedodi, like just fucking add B D to whatever whoever I think I'm talking to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, is that, how is that terrible? That's so. For with what I say, that's fine. I say we love you guys, Brody and Dylan. You guys are amazing athletes. Hundred percent. Love it. Mm, big time. Big time. Um, me. So when we were thinking about challenges, um, originally Lane wanted to do uh, the cat leap from the rail yeah. to the to the little uh, electrical piece that Dominic what's his last name Fischenbauer Fischenbauer yeah, Fischenbauer. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fischenbauer. so did the plyo bro the Neanderthal absolutely did, disgusting did the cat leap and yeah. caught it with one hand yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> what is just that stuck on like uh, <laughs> did, did you just call him a Neanderthal <laughs> yeah he definitely has like caveman genetics I think not, not insulting but like your power output is fucking like it's right. borderline oh, monkey yeah. like like it's yeah, fucking yeah. surreal yeah. to see okay. in person just to clear that up because I, I thought you like referring to his no, like, I think some. I no, think some. No, not no, his no, no. As, like aesthetic, physical af- no, attributes, no. rather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, like caveman fucking strength, essentially. Gotcha, gotcha. The, British people look like they have protruding brows, like Neanderthals. <laughs> I've seen. Oh, I've, right, I've seen okay. a fucking few. So I just dug you out of a hole and do you know do you know how much jive I heard you fucking redcoats talk about Americans since I got here, bro? You don't expect to get dished back. Come on. Now. Come on. All you've been saying is since you've got here is disrespecting our late head of state I have, been, <laughs> I have been nothing but respectful to Queen Elizabeth II and I have wished her nothing but the utmost rest Callum on the other hand though likes to talk about the royal family and something that may, may or may not be going on behind the curtains oh my yeah. god yeah Glad we got She's in harvesting, <laughs> harvesting babies, acrinos, adrenochrome. Ad- adrenal. Oh my god! <laughs> adrenal Slurpy, she snaps uh, fucking open fetuses and just <laughs> slurps them like yeah, a yeah. fucking ketchup pack. That's what she does. <laughs> as soon as she's behind closed doors, unzips the unzips the, the reptilian the suit, suit. Yeah. Pulls, off, pulls off the mask, lizard, and then just grabs open a baby and splits yeah. open its neck. And yeah. Oh my god! I don't know where the adrenal adrenal gland of adrenochrome. Oh, right. It's, it's the stress. Co- I, I, it, listen, if I know anything about conspiracy theories, which I may, <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Um, I think it's like the stress hormone that's produced. Like if you're in a fight or flight adrenochrome, yes. essentially. Um, well, it didn't get very far. Like 96 is pretty average for someone that isn't like, you know, the monarchy. Like my nan, my nan lived past her and she grew up in Whitehawk. Like, was, <laughs> was she a centurion? Did she lived to a hundo? Uh, no, she was, uh, she died at 97. So Shame. fuck you, Queenie. And you've got uh, like... You know all the medicine in the world. You old sagging Fuck. bitch. Fucking no, so, I'm joking. It's what okay. I'm saying is, adrenochrome didn't help her out too much. So. <laughs> I don't think she was taking it. She didn't take enough. She looked too fucking baggy by the time she was like whipping around. <laughs> you know, in her nineties. Cut here for you to know when you want to edit that section out. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, how did we I get don't know here? What you mean. I, don't, I just don't even know how we got. I didn't even bring it on. I'm just responding. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll get David Ike on the podcast to talk about this properly. <laughs> <laughs> take it from. Take it. From, Take the wheel, David. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope all, all our listeners take that in jest because I'm not going to edit it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a yuck yuck man. I'm trying to become a comedian one day, mayhaps. No, I'm a parkour rabbi. <laughs> right. Uh, where do we go from here? Any any final words about the big wall open? <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, uh, back in New York, uh, going to what JoJo just said before about seeing all these different athletes, we were yeah. literally walking around like a couple days before the comp and met Gio from Pasta Moves. Oh, yeah, dude. Gang Wizzy People showed up to the People other Italian boys that were just with yeah. Gio, like just tried, like kids I never yeah. even knew existed that like are fucking yeah. animals. A couple of the fat McKesh boys in bro, London when we everybody. went. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Shout out Makesh, son. Shout out Makesh. It is, it is one of those... Um, one of those events where you really want to just like 
What's that thing in uh, Dragon Ball? Is it the, the when you can split yourself into like four people? Uh, after like, image. Yeah, yeah. Is it the after <laughs> yeah, of image? Yeah. But no, <laughs> yeah. but no there is image. what it is. There is a technique my wow that fans. Piccolo does, uh, where he, and Cell, where they split themselves up and and like they mm -hmm. can each fight the mm -hmm. same mm -hmm. opponent. Max, you want to chime in here? What's that technique called? No one cares. What's that um, technique called? But, <laughs> <laughs> but either way, like I, I would love to just split myself up and like have my day with like four four different groups yeah, yeah, because around. one so one love there. one person isn't enough to experience like all yeah just I want to train with everyone like yeah. when people were going to stringer I felt like I was missing out and I was yeah. having a great day but still felt yeah. like you're FOMOing because yeah. Like, yeah that's fair <laughs> yeah no genuinely yeah. everyone was so nice too it's like, crazy mean people do like so crazy it was yeah, awesome they were talking hella shit when you guys turn your back though they'd be like <laughs> look at those bozos no. yeah care. exactly <laughs> Only me. They were only talking to me. Like, why did they bring that guy around? Why is that one so loud? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's who's the manlet that they brought along? <laughs> it was uh, it was it was a sick event, man. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah. Coming back for first next year. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Big time. So SPL. Moving Sport on to that. Parkour League. Sport Parkour League. Yeah. If you don't know what that is, go and wait. Is there anything on YouTube yet? Yeah. Apart from so the quarterfinals. Right now, the they have the whole live stream of um, the quarterfinals, and they're releasing segments for like each individual like event. Right now, they just released both both style men and women, and I think one of speed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure either. Yeah, but they said they're going to put everything on YouTube, like, periodically. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched the live stream. It was um, it was incredible. And uh, I think the most suspenseful and entertaining for me, and I'm definitely biased as well, but it felt like the most suspenseful to watch was uh, was um, the skill. The skill, skill event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, did, uh, Lane, did you get into... The semis? Yeah. Yes. You were in the so, semis. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I worked yeah. my way all the way from on-site qualifiers to fifth place. I uh, tied with Luke Sable. Shout out Luke Sable. Shout out. So good. Awesome, dude. Um, yeah, he's awesome, amazing. Dude. Yeah, but I worked my way all the way up, and I was just shy. Just shy of making yeah. it to the finals yeah. with this boy. So. Lane uh, placed fifth. Yeah. Mm. Fifth. Oh, yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And you were second. Yes, second in skill. Below... Tim Champion. Timmy Champ. Yeah. Timmy Champ, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, Champ. Above, just above Daryl. Daryl. No, yeah. no, I was third. No, I'm just no you were <laughs> not. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, was it uh, if you would have got the stick on the the big high to low Kong Pri, then would that have no. made any difference? No. Oh, so Tim yeah. just had two after the first challenge when I went, because I one banged it, I tied for first, but Tim also got it first try. Mm. So he got three points ahead of me. Fuck him. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. He's a great, yeah, a dude. great athlete. And then Deserve absolutely that, demolished the swing stride to pre oh second God. try. It was ridiculous. I was I was in bed watching it on my laptop. Just, yeah. Just, yeah and just like seeing Tim like normally who was just completely placid. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stone cold, <laughs> stone cold to just yeah! like on the on the rail, yeah, like yeah. come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Topless, Imagine flexing as hard as possible. Flexed out on the rail, just like no! <laughs> veins, yeah. veins. Me pop. and him, man. Once we got things, like we were, we were, we were jived up. Like I fucking screamed to the crowd, man. Once yeah. I got that 180 stick, because I was stressing about it. <laughs> yeah, because I was coming in fourth um, into finals because I got all nine challenges the first day, got three the second. Daryl also got all nine and got three, uh, but because he finished before me, he got placed third mm. going into finals. So I was up first to bat. Yeah. So, and I took my time as much as I could to prep it and just. One bang down. That 180 come in, I was like, no way. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it was, was sick. That man. was a brilliant one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Like the tension building up to it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all have any. crowded uproar. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, dude. Uh, so. I'm just saying, if any of you listening I assume like you're listening to this you're part of the parkour culture you're in it for the culture man cool yeah, sure. um, <laughs> but if you didn't catch the live stream are you really yeah. Yeah. Are, you, are you really in it for the culture if yeah yeah you'll be able to watch it on YouTube I'm yeah sure. for sure you this guys? one uh, around this time around it, this comp specifically SBL meant a lot for me because in 2019 I didn't even get past like I qualified in uh, EPCs in Boston and I didn't even get past the uh, quarterfinals in 2019. 
16 placed a second, baby. Yeah, dude. What yeah, a story. Placed 16. What an underdog, yeah. underdog yeah. story. Yeah. And because of uh, COVID and everything, they didn't have it for like two, three years. So I just spent so much time in my backyard getting strong. Yeah. So much time. So yeah. it was like an obsession. So, and then I came back, did the best that I could. I didn't even think I was going to go that far, too. I just wanted to get past quarterfinals. Mm. So I just rode it all the way I could. So. And look where you are. Yeah, 100%. And look dude. where you are, bro. 100%. <laughs> meant so much. Did you guys yeah, struggle with any, there. like, uh, performance anxiety being in front oh, of the crowd? Oh, dude, yeah. No, not yeah. me. No, 100% me, dude. Um, I do not do competition. You could ask the guys. I hate competition. But, yeah, uh, first competition ever, right? Fifth place. Yeah, yeah dude. Go next, fuck yourself. Shut next the fuck up, podium. Yeah. <laughs> But I want to say shout out Dylan Poen and uh, Hub to PTC for flying me out. It was the only reason I went and competed. And yeah. obviously it turned out well. So that was great. awesome that they did that. Huge it shout out to Hub in Massachusetts. Yeah. Also, awesome huge shout out to Tom and Renee, bro, yeah. for hosting such yeah, an incredible Yeah, put on call. such a good event, dude. It's so crazy. Should have corked on Tom, though. Should have really taught him, a, you know, some of them calls for the sticks. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, whatever, no, dude. No, no, he's, he's good. They gotta be aggressive. No, they, no, they weren't aggressive in 2019, dude. They're, I saw some wacky, silly shit sometimes. Well, well, that's the thing. They they had a different. They they changed it, didn't they? Their their idea for a controlled landing, like a controlled landing, was very different from like a strict stick, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. in 2019, I spe- I don't recall who it was, but I specifically remember someone sticking with two feet. They picked up, and their one foot was still stable, and they put their foot down. They're like, that counts. Well, Joe Hindo did that on the drop pre in the quarterfinals. They yep. called it. Yeah. Yeah. But I they mean, called it as not good. No, they no, called no, it they as good. It. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but then you yeah. did it as well. I didn't do it that bad, though. Like, no. I hit, slipped, one foot up to uh, here, back down. He was like, no. And I just yeah. freaked out. I was like, fuck. I was no, going to say. No, bullshit. To go into that even further, dude, uh, EPCs, when uh, JoJo took first, um, yeah, in 2019. Rest in peace, David Wolf. He yeah. was an incredible athlete. Um, but oh, yeah. he, in the semifinals, did a safety pre from a rail down to a wall picked and up his slipped foot fully. out. Yeah, yeah picked yeah, up yeah. his foot fully, put it down, and, and they, they still it. gave it to him. Yeah, so. yeah. That's some fucking horse shit, Tom. They're getting, like, they're getting, I, better. I, they're getting I, better. I, with I the get it now. too. Like at, a, at a certain point, from like quarters to semis to finals, they get stricter and stricter. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I get no, it. I no, I, I'd rather Unless you be strict you know. than give like yeah. woo-woo fucking calls yeah. like that. Like if anyone's leg comes up during a stick, I would yeah. immediately be for myself personally. I'd be like what fuck ever, but during a competition, I'd be like no, I get wrong. it. Wrong. Yeah. But also too, the the switch up with the skill finals this year was incredible. Oh, dude, it was so cool to right? see. Yeah. yeah, there was a it was a rotation, and instead of three challenges, five tries total, it was three and three for each challenge. You know what I mean? Three challenges, three tries in a rotation. And like if you knew, yeah, yeah, if you knew where you were in like the standings, and you knew exactly what to like dial in on, you can like make up points like so quickly. It was and a lot of fun. It's terrifying, bro, to yeah. have like someone go right before you, especially you. You were literally in fourth. You yeah, yeah, one bang the first challenge, yeah, yeah. and I bet you, dude, Tim and everyone were like sweating. They were like, all right, yeah. now I got to one bang yeah, this yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man. And if you miss, then you got to wait a whole rotation to get yep. back up, yep. which is crazy. Yep. Sitting like there you fucking getting get, an adrenaline yeah. shake a little bit. Just you don't even get up. eyes on it, bro. You just have to stand back, let someone else go, yeah. and then you got to step back up. It's quite cool because you you, you're still gathering some data yeah, like, yeah, yeah. while watching, I yeah. guess. But it makes it more competitive, which sure. is yeah. awesome. I really like that skill final format. Yeah. It, it makes it more like... Uh, like a training session mm-hmm. uh, in the sense that like you you kind of take turns to 100% kind of, yeah uh, f- do the same challenge with each other mm-hmm. and yeah 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 except you got all these cameras on you it feels like ESPN you're like and a oh, shit yeah. ton of people <laughs> in the crowd Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah oh my god oh man but yeah I bet the suspense in that room was, was great yeah the energy. incredible the well, energy was incredible yeah oh my god uh, regardless of the events that you guys were in what was your favorite part of the um the whole comp and experience. Jared Ludy's uh, oh, final, God. final big trick, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was baffled. I was yeah, staying yeah. there on the sidelines, freaking out, little fangirl, yeah. bro. Yeah, so it was like the the forward giant, then like the hand switch. Stall. The hand switch is the sketchy the hand thing. Switch the switch to the hand stall. Switch. For, and, uh, what was it, cast gain or Disgusting. On, dude, yeah. on that like compressed concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That somehow like, feels like, harder like than regular concrete. The only concrete, place though. in that gym where there's hard concrete and he just sent it. Stomped it. Disgusting. Stomped it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. That's disgusting. what discipline looks like when you're a fucking psycho that wakes up 5 a.m. to train. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking dedicated, man. Well, they chose. They all the it credit, definitely bro. shows. The show. Yeah. 
Uh, one last thing. My, my second favorite part of the competition was watching the fridge Ed Scott tell oh a cameraman to get the fuck out of the way. Mid run. Yeah. Mid run. And still <laughs> smashed it, dude. Yeah, still yeah. did. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so crazy. Run, step, step. Get the fuck out of the man. Just, yeah. oh, Ed, Ed, no pause. Yeah, yeah. Extra points for not letting that get to his head. Yeah, 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 son, oh, sure. yeah. oh, yeah. We have um, Christine Dietrich in the house as well, who is also mm. a judge. You for... kept your last name? How dare you? Oh my yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. No. I know. <laughs> I know. Sh- yeah, I keep saying Dietrich because I'm just really like saying your name wrong all the time. So. <laughs> just Henry. Legally Henry's correct. easier. Legally correct. <laughs> my government name. <laughs> um, and Max, your point A is making a uh, a documentary on Jared Luti's. Uh, Come yeah. up. SPL experience, right? Yep. When can we expect to see that? Uh, after all of the SPL stuff drops, so probably early winter. All right. Yeah. Sweet. That's yeah, awesome. So let them get all their paid content out of the way, and then mm. yeah, got a bunch of cool outdoor footage with Jared too that he has not released yet, oh, yeah. which is. I was just say if we're yeah. if we're speaking about unreleased things too. Um, just if we're speaking about it. Just if we're uh, speaking about yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, me and the boys here on the Unknown Project are filming a long length documentary type film yep. oh, that yeah. we're planning to put out yep. in like a year or so. Yep. So please be on the lookout for that. I'm telling mm-hmm. you. Some of the challenges we are doing, people are not going to touch for yeah. ten years to come. Years so, to come. Literally, some of the things that I was looking at when I was sixteen. So. And I was like, I will never do this. <laughs> and now I'm just ticking them off. One Things by we're one. doing now that we do, and then afterwards I'm sitting there and I'm like, I never want to do that again. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah, happy yeah. that's done with. Oh my <laughs> god! Like, yeah. <laughs> just one bank. Yeah. You might, you might see your boy in some shiny yeah. silverware at some point. <laughs> well, we worth um, it. we started filming at the beginning of this summer, um, and actually <laughs> because of all like the the travel that has gone on lately, uh, just huge, huge stop. Yeah. on it now so yeah. but once we get back and everything else calms down these next this next month yeah hopefully we can get back to it and then leading into next year hopefully rough 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 date rough stop yeah, i don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. but the gun I, gotta, down. I gotta get everything first <laughs> and edit down. it but um hopefully maybe at the end of next summer yeah. still be out and so. i just want to say while we're talking about that shout out to henry blue yes for being literally yes. one of the kindest souls in this earth and helping us with our movie yeah. his we shots man without him because we're trying to shoot it in like a specific way from like an outsider's perspective like a bystander on yeah. the street yeah like essentially right. yeah. exactly um and he just we told him that and he picked it up like it was Dude. nothing man like a the wizard the shots that with he the got. camera yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing is some cute. of the things man <laughs> That sounds quite. That sounds quite like so kind of voyeuristic kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're focusing bit, yeah. on those kinds of angles and sound, right? Primarily, yeah, with so everything. So we have a DJI uh, like mic setup, so we just found out we could clip the mics on ourselves. And yeah, it's gonna help with some yeah. like the height challenges yeah. that we have. Imagined. We actually found that out at SBL because Is that uh, with a wire and stuff. No, it's just wireless. magnetic. Yeah, so, wireless magnetic, you, just like this. He was trying to place. Cause like I was warming up and he was, and I had like the shirt on. So he was like, Oh, like we should, we should like record. He was trying to find places and he was like, no, nah, fuck it. Just, just put just it on. It. We'll yeah, test yeah. it. And After it was he fun. told me that's perfect. not a thing. He's like, yeah, well, he's he like, didn't I'm know. He didn't guy. know. He you didn't know. know shit. We I'm tested okay. it. So. I was just saying, yeah, <laughs> guys, yeah. I've just had this brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, <laughs> shut <laughs> up, smooth brain. <laughs> but, uh, Get on. He's been a huge, huge help for us with this project too. It gives like us an opportunity because like we do our own stuff for unknown. And we're like camera heavy, like GoPro heavy with like vlogs and stuff on our channel. But like it gives us an opportunity to step back and not have to worry Mm -hmm. about the camera because we know someone else is on it. And like we can come together as like a team, focus on a challenge and everyone's like everyone is in it helping each other out. Mm -hmm. So we've uh, we've gotten like a decent amount so far. As I said. Yeah, Yeah. we'll be back to it soon for sure. Well, for us, uh, what you're talking about before with... uh, how this lined up with all the competitions yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jojo were we got, I got asked a week before the SPL to yeah, go yeah, out yeah. there and yeah. he we just bought the tickets then and once we were about to go out there then we got a call for from Max yeah, for this, this big wall open. Yep. Yeah, and then on top of that right after that we got called for World, World Chase, Chase Tag, Tag again with yeah. uh, in GNF. 2 weeks in 2 weeks now. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be competing with the uh, GNF uh, Davis, Jake, like Seth. Non-fucking-stop, like yeah, yeah. dude. Non-stop. So, mm, yeah. Literally. Oh, hell yeah. We've only been home for like 
two week. Oh yeah, week two week and time we, the last leave. three months. Yeah. I get to go home and play some fucking League of Legends and Elden Ring for like a day or two because I'm blown out right now, bro. <laughs> I do not want to walk or train for a few days. Yeah. It's actually the most I think we've ever traveled. Like in in like this small amount of time, right. I was just saying, and like for us, two it's, months, yeah, three months. it's such a different experience. Like being home for like a week or two, and then just getting up and going and doing it all over again. Yeah. So, dude, like Ed, after the big wall opens, like, yeah. oh, nice seeing you guys. Sorry, I, gotta I gotta go. go. I gotta go <laughs> here, here, here. And we're like, damn. Yep. Damn. But that's yep. like the life. I think like it's so admirable because you're like, oh fuck, like yeah, like that's uh, that's exactly what I want to do. And that's how you make it possible, the dream possible. Yeah. You bust your ass just like him, dude. Yeah, and hard worker, bro. It's work fucking ethic is in- insane. Yeah. Proof yeah. is in the pudding. You see him do shit, boy, and you're like, that took Ed years, boy. bro, of practice. Like, oh, we talking about Ed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I was, yeah, I was gonna Scott. say like he's the main like he, like he'll f- fly around and perform exactly the same, probably yeah, on shit sleep and mainly eating right. Harry Bow. Like, <laughs> does, he, does he have a normal gig or he's just fucking athlete like through and through? Yeah, yeah, mainly just an athlete. And wow. then he'll come home and like from like after a, a really hard comp where he wins and like busts his ass and then like straight after getting home he'll probably go straight to the gym and like then yep, back, savage. back on Tom Taylor's program. Yep. Yeah. Crushing that tin. It's literally just like Jared Ludy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. yeah, yeah. The Jared Luty is is uh, American Ed, America's Ed. Yeah. Um, speaking of crushing tin, <laughs> you looking forward to uh, going back and getting back on program? Yes, 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 yes. Um, Me too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Nah, dude. <laughs> so yeah, you no, you, you all um, all do primarily olympic lifting stuff so me lifting. me and lane specifically do right. like uh weightlifting ollie lifting like okay. specifically but yeah. like squat bench deadlift as well yeah, yeah. So kettlebell yeah, endurance sure. yeah lane, uh, yeah he does kettlebell yeah. joe says uh-huh. it like like i know what i'm doing but this this is my coach right here i only do what i do and i only jump as far as i do because of this man yeah. right here mm. so for weightlifting um i'm all self-taught yeah yeah never That's never just like parkour yeah. just like yeah, parkour, like, just like parkour. Mm. but it's even i'm gonna be real it's even harder with like weightlifting because there's so many small little details just to add like a pound two pounds the intricacies. Yeah. Yeah. you never it's, think it's gonna uh, make no, that much of a difference it's, it's, it's ridiculous yeah. so. but that's, i've been doing uh i've yeah. been doing weightlifting now for i've been lifting for eight years but i've been doing weightlifting specifically for four all four, for almost five years yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's fun. I have a great time with it. It's it's funny to see the shift because like I I live right down the block from JoJo mm-hmm. and I see him all the time. We train together all the time. We lift all the time. And like it went from JoJo like watching all these parkour videos and whatnot to literally I'm walking in his house and it's like the Olympics. Ollie yeah, yeah, thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching yeah, Lasha yeah, on the screen yeah, and I'm like, like a three this? hour like, weightlifting comp and I'm just like yeah I'm just waiting for Lasha to come. Fours over there, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. maxing out a deadlift. So, I'm like of course. Mm-hmm. Well, I wake up in the morning I'm like what do you got every morning too since we've been on this fucking trip I'll walk in fucking half dead. Like yeah. 10 a.m. and I'm like, well, you got yeah. more weightlifting videos. Yeah. So it gets me more psyched <laughs> sometimes than parkour videos, man. Like yeah. it's just it's yeah, awesome yeah. to see. So and I've like I have done my research like a fucking madman just on my computer late at night. I have like a shit ton of notes like in my Google Docs about like mm. technique and like how to approach it and what you should do compared to yeah. what you shouldn't do. So and then I um just like I said like for SBL specifically as well like I worked like my ass off mm-hmm. started to do start to like reach out to people as well seeing if anyone wanted to do like programming stuff mm. um that's like my side business as well like programming such a natural um, progression for you too mm-hmm. like it was just such yeah. like mm-hmm. something that fell into place mm-hmm. and just i worked. love it man i saw it online uh like five and a half years ago from um if anyone knows like clarence kennedy yeah big the one big and dude only. Just wrecking. Irish dude. Yeah, he yeah, used yeah. to train as well. Yeah. Wait, yes. is he Irish or North, yeah, Northern he, Irish? I hate he, getting this mixed up. Oh, I'm not sure. He's yeah, Irish. If he, he's Northern Irish. Irish and Irish aren't the same I don't know. thing. <laughs> so she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right, but, um, this is a bit I might have to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> All the Queen stuff, fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's, Dude, um, whatever. He started to do parkour <laughs> and then got heavily into tricking and then found weightlifting. And then just and crushed just it blew up online man juice to the gills yeah. is just like i'm fucking yeah. Yeah. here we go yeah. baby. he's open about that too about yeah. like not being natural and everything and yeah. i think it's 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 awesome because like he does it just because he wants to like he doesn't compete anymore he just wants to try to push it as far as he can and get as comfortable with it as he can and that's like where i took a lot of my inspiration from so 
I learned kind of what I learned from like online watching him, watching like Olympic competitions, and I just went crazy with it. Mm. Like, yeah, programming's good and like pushing yourself is good, but sometimes the shit that I do with Olympic lifting is not healthy. But I just do it anyway oh, wait, because what? I'm like obsessed with it. I love it. What did you say? What do you mean? The Bulgarian method. The Bulgarian method. Yeah, yeah, basically Bulgarian. <laughs> just what do you mean? Yeah. For anyone watching, the Bulgarian method is two or three sessions a day maxed out. out yeah 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 <laughs> so like weeks on end no one needs good. a cns that's kind of just an urban legend you I could mean, really just tax your system non-stop every that's day the, that's the thing when was it like around the uh 80s or something the the bulgarian team in weightlifting was was fucking crushing it and yep. got like more yep. gold medals than ever yep yep medals than ever because no but one they was had, doing what they were doing but they had so so many talented people and and they broke so many eggs i'm pretty sure yes with, yeah. with just overtraining. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like it was it was said you because saw, like, like got winning medals were the ones that mm-hmm. pretty much survived well, even the they were coach, they were no the not 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 <laughs> even yeah. man. The, the coach that was doing the bulgarian back. method like didn't care didn't care if you got injured he was like you're coming you're showing up you're maxing out like you have to fight fight through it like it doesn't matter yeah. it's a fucked method of training but yeah. damn does it produce results temporary like results point, it becomes more willpower <laughs> yeah than no, even that's literally what it is able to be strong yeah bro. yeah like, and that's the thing about like olympic weightlifting as well um it's like in terms like with parkour it's a mind game as well like you have to get that weight over your head you know what i mean in mm-hmm. such a specific and technical way that at a certain weight you just can't muscle through it anymore. Mm. If you try to muscle through it, you will get hurt. So, but you have to believe that you can do it, trust your technique, follow through, and then just kind of trust your entire training. And yeah. push your herniated disc like back into your spine. You oh, fucking <laughs> thumb that bitch right back in, and you're fucking good. So, I, I myself am very, I, I like to be very pragmatic with my approach to strength training mm-hmm. and all supplement all supplementary training for parkour but i really love um weightlifting stuff yeah, like yeah. i really love uh, uh clean and jerk yep. and uh snatch and yeah. stuff but it's more of like it's the fun aspect of it mm-hmm. like um any any gains that i get from from it for my training like is is definitely a bonus yeah. but like sometimes i'll just want to go to the gym and do that stuff because yeah. i've been watching it it's fun um, man yeah, yeah huck a bar over your head fun. man it's phenomenal no it's not so <laughs> don't, don't, don't listen to them. shit's I fucking whack weightlifting yeah. so there's definitely like a huge part of that um romantic element there for me like with with that stuff but me if too. i if i were to um have like a power block or something where it would be like speed strength Mm-hmm. I, and if I was programming for someone else as well, I probably would just program them doing trap bar jumps. Like okay. so, so the hex you call mm-hmm. it hex bar, I yeah, think, yeah, hex yeah. Commonly. And I think it's it's way easier. I mean, this is my argument for it anyway, and it's just me regurgitating arguments I've seen from other like pragmatic uh, strength and conditioning coaches. It requires less technique to. Uh, it, it requires less cueing to teach it, yeah. mm-hmm. and um, it's easier to produce force and um, in a small amount it's of like time line without worrying about essentially without, without worrying about the bar in front of you and stuff. And no, it does true. have the drawback of it closer mimics a squat because yeah. you can have your shins going forward a bit, mm-hmm. but you can still cue someone to just rock your hips back a little bit further, so it's more hip dominant yep. and less knee dominant. Yep. I've had a lot of conversations with people online. Yeah. That's like, dude, it just takes too long to learn. Yeah. And I, I do understand it. Like, I, I, I really, so like, really parkour, do. Though. You just yeah, it's true. Yeah. But see, people, people don't want to take away the time to train parkour to do weightlifting because they want to train parkour, yeah. right? They'd rather produce more in that sport than to take, like, a major step back for a couple of months, learn a new movement, something that you can progress over time very, very yeah. slowly. But once you build that foundation, like, it's yeah, it's yeah. set, you know what I mean? I think if, so. they're go- if they're going to have fun doing it, and that is the the novelty that they need to... Um, <laughs> to uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get them to the gym and get the work done mm-hmm. to give them that training stimulus um then yes i, w- I would definitely get yep. people people doing that yes the the workout that gets done is like that's that's the most important thing yeah. like you that's just want to give stuff that they can adhere to that's rather true. than like and trap trap bar jumps can just be super boring for yeah, people that's and, true. um but like the whole idea of learning a completely separate sport um 
intimidating a bit at first. It's, yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. It's depending, it's sure. depending on the person yeah. who I'm gonna who I'm gonna uh, give it to. But um, if you're getting the same training stimulus from not having to take that step back and and um, do that technique work, I probably would just program trap bar jumps. No, that's fair. Understandable. Yeah. I personally think it's it's worth it. But yeah. then again, like I'm a little biased because yeah, I love it's it the so much. Mentions, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. And it, it 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 when I started, it has now built what I am today as an athlete, yeah. like power wise. Like it's it's just ridiculous for me. There yeah. hasn't been one competition I've walked away from personally where I'm not. I'm like, oh wow, I need to lift more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I need yeah. to get stronger. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Hmm. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Thank you, Christian. Thank Stop. you. <laughs> I was holding my tongue for that one a little. <laughs> yeah. No so, what's what's your? Uh, I mean, just strength and conditioning in general. Like, uh, apart from like weightlifting or what method you would use. Like, mm -hmm. what is your elevator pitch for um, strength training to supplement parkour that you give people? Um, like, if people were like are like starting out. Uh, I just tell them like just practice squat deadlift. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the basics. come up with a, yeah. like a basic scheme five by five, five by three. Yeah. Um, and just take it super progressional. Mm. Um, if you wanna like super simple and you're yeah, starting out, super, you don't need super like a simple. special program. Yeah, you don't want to kill yourself. You know yeah, what I mean? Or like foundation. over overload yourself at first. Mm. Just take it slow. Start with like the basic three. You know what I mean? Squat, bench, deadlift. Just build it up over time, and if you want to explore more like explosive and dynamic routes, you you, you can either like supplement those three basic lifts, or you can take that turn into weightlifting. You know what I mean? But there's again, it's weightlifting is just one avenue. You yeah, know what I mean, there are yeah. tons and tons and tons of way to get strong. Mm. That's the one that I found. You don't specifically need to do it. Mm but it is one avenue you can take you know what i mean and then again you're 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 balancing two sports cuz mm. i say now too i would love to compete like i would love to do a weightlifting comp mm. see what i can actually do if i get my numbers to where oh, i would yeah. like to I'd do love that to see yeah that exactly i think it would be fun maybe when i'm a little older who knows mm. um but yeah so but yeah weight weightlifting like uh, i i feel like a lot of people when we say weightlifting a lot of people are going to just think we mean as a broad, oh, lifting, a yeah, broad yeah, yeah. umbrella term, but yeah. uh, Olympic lifting, like you yeah. get so much bang for your buck. Like yeah. you've got the the pull off the ground, yep. um, which is you know it's like the broad jump takeoff. Yep. You've got the dropping into the bottom of the squat, yep. which um, which is like a landing. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah that yeah. fast eccentric is mm -hmm. like mimicking landing, and um, and you get all the mobility that you get from yep. chasing these yep. deep positions and, yep. and lifts and everything. Yep. And not to mention like the shoulder mobility and everything yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, clean specifically, whether it be power or like a full clean, mm. is the most, uh, what's what's the word? Like it, it translates so much Relatable. to, yeah, like it translates to like a standing jump in yeah. like parkour. It's like mm. the closest exercise dynamically that you can do mm. to like relate to parkour. That's what I found. Yeah. So, cause like you said, pull off the ground, hit with extension and contact you're exploding through the movement and then diving underneath the bar to catch which is most similar to like a like a landing of a jump that we take you know what i mean getting into that position your feet are a little wider but you know what i mean it's the same kind of impact you're taking from the bar uh that you would apply through body weight into like um like whatever you're landing on yeah. so it's like the most similar and you get like the most progression out of it for training, or at least that's what I've found so far. Snatch, yeah. a little different. So, mm. and if, if people don't really know like the terms I'm talking about, uh, the clean and jerk is a two movement lift from the floor to a rack position and then overhead. And the snatch is a wider grip on the bar, one single movement, two <laughs> overhead and catch. <laughs> so, as we just all demonstrated, so. Oh. Just yeah. like, oh, <laughs> my labrum. Can't <laughs> can't we even finish this? Yeah. No. <laughs> Thanks for that. If anyone does want to learn, though, hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. I would love to to work with people. Joe's helped me out quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Assessing love the my technique people. and uh, giving me some some cues. For sure. But uh, I need to wait for my shoulder to get better. That's fair. Get back to it. That's fair. But it's very fun. Very, very fun. fun. The shoulder is like funky now too. Any any. Uh, 
I think Luis Alcmeme has talked about this because he's got into the strength and conditioning world recently after being so adamant that no, you need le- you need less compressive exercise <laughs> and, and <laughs> more more decompressing like yoga. Sorry for that terrible. I don't know why. I, <laughs> <Yeah. did. laughs> I don't know why I naturally try and like <laughs> do impressions of people when when uh, quoting them, but um. But yeah, and he's he's in that world now. He's going to gym. He's doing squats and lots of rehab stuff. And yeah. he's he said online like how how like he it just feels like such a chore for him. I get it. And it's it's so much of it is monotonous. So if you can add yeah. like the right amount of novelty, which is going to make you adhere to a program, like it doesn't need to be fully like textbook pragmatic, and um, because like yeah, I don't know. Like if you're programming in like heavy calf raises for people or, or yeah. like um stuff that just people really don't like doing and it feels like a chore and it's just boring then it's not going to get done like no, calf, raises, calf, calf raises and core work at the end of a session people are just gonna fucking yeah nah i'm all right today no, i'm gonna fair. go home and play well, it could be um like determination and drive too. Yeah, yeah 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 we because need that like, but like it's, if that novelty um and having that romanticism is might just be the thing that gets people to adhere mm-hmm. to a program mm-hmm. and give them stuff that they'll enjoy. So you've yeah. got to work with a person yeah. individually. Like Lane, that, um, I guess. Lane hates lifting. Yeah, yeah I said it before. It's, it's on the podcast. He, yeah, I hate, I hate he, he knows he needs to do it. You know what I mean? It's, like you said before, dude, it translates so well. Yeah. And I literally can attribute anything I've done right now, these last, like, how long have you been lifting for now? I think I've been like a year. You specifically? Two years. Two years now, yeah, dude? Like, Since you lift, detox it's, in, in Staten Island? Two years? Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Would you lift if you were six foot? If the gods smiled upon you and gave you fucking yeah, hundred like, percent. Because Ucilla? yeah, then I'm I'm competing with Tim Champion in the finals, dude. What do you mean? Right. <laughs> I think if you were fucking six foot, it'd be like game, it'd be fucking broken game. Like it'd be like oh, he's cheating. I wish, dude. I'm I six wish. foot. <laughs> yeah, and if Lane was your height, you fucking five, blow you out of the water. I I think you say yeah, that. I'm very small boy. I don't know about, I don't know about that. In, in some other <laughs> universe, know about that. sounds like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Roll a little more, bro. All right, you've seen Baki. Time to fucking elongate those bones. Time to fucking space them out a little. Oh, god, uh, but yeah, the the weightlifting. Oh my god, it, it helps tenfold. Yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy the amount yeah, of impact I could take now. You know that I've increased my jump by at least four or five paces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was a decent no, amount. It's a lot. It's a lot. lot bro. You know, like there's no denying the benefits like yeah. in, in training, like it's fucking night and day. Like you have to be pretty ignorant to not acknowledge like, uh, no, it helps. It definitely helps. So I've, yeah. I've said for years, it's, it's the low hanging fruit for most parkour athletes because we already produce force very quickly because we're, we're a jumping sport yeah. and it's mostly about speed. Yeah. Um, so we're already pretty fast. The low hanging fruit is if you increase your maximum force production yeah. potential. The output. Yeah, you mm-hmm. build that bottom pyramid. Yep. Like your base. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. And it'll be so easy to just like follow linear progression for a bit and to see like massive gains. Yeah. yeah. Um, You'll yeah. eat yeah. impact better. Yeah. Your tendons are going to get stronger. Your bones are going to get stronger. Yeah. It's really nothing but benefits if you yeah. do it right. So then, then the, like the jumping side of it is helping you express that maximum force production yeah. faster as well. Yeah. But, a lot of people yeah. too, like at least the people that I program, um, some people like we stay outside of Olympic lifts, and like the like the big thing about it is people just don't really understand like what like a program is. You know what I mean? It's a guideline for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just building up very very slowly gives you basically step by step what to do and you follow that for 12 weeks yeah. you're not doing anything different yeah. for 12 weeks very specific things just over and over again to build that strength and a lot of people that i program are like so thankful that they have a routine now you know yeah. what i mean because yeah, yeah, they've yeah, never yeah. had that before mm-hmm. like they're going out and jumping for a couple hours and then going to the gym just fucking about like doing little little tiny things but yeah giving someone like a program to follow through on you will see even if it's like the simplest thing doesn't really matter you will see progression no matter yeah, what yeah it's the, the consistency yeah a lot of the time over everything consistency yeah. and and yeah progressive overload mm-hmm. it works mm-hmm. um what, what how how is your uh programming is, is it more like template or is it uh is it more like coaching um it's both okay yeah so nice. what so what i do specifically is a 12-week program um three blocks all right. Three four week blocks, mm-hmm. right? 
and I do week by week instruction. So every day that you're going to the gym, I want you to take videos, either a side view or a front view of the lift. You send it on over to me. Um, and I give you cues and readjustments, everything, yeah. as well as weekly checkups. That's that's kind of like what the whole package includes with like pricing and everything in like the program. Mm. So I've worked with like a bunch of people. I work with uh, Davis now too. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So specifically for speed, mm. and he doesn't take anything outside of like power cleans because that's all he needs for speed. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's already a strong motherfucker to begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he just needs like um like very specific things for speed to produce mm. um like um he needs to shave those yeah, sideburns to be more aerodynamic I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah true yeah, the so. mullet is helping though mm -hmm. um he, mm. he he was doing some uh dieting stuff as well was w w are you behind that as well i i suggested some things like to him right. because he wanted to put on some weight yeah um and i told him i was like that's just that's all through diet you know what i mean yeah, you yeah. got to be specific which what you want to do um, like protein, creatine, mass gainer, like whatever you want to do to put it on as well as just eating in general. Um, but I don't do like too much nutrition stuff. It's, sure. ma it's mainly just lifting, mm. at least. And this this might be getting too into the weeds for our audience, but I just want to know because I'm curious. Sure. Is, is your programming more like percentage based or is it more like auto regulation, RPE kind of thing? I hate RPE. Oh, really? I fucking hate yeah. it. Really? Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm so yeah. between. I'm no, so, yeah, I so hate torn. It. I hate it because if you're following a program specifically and yeah. like doing everything you need for that program, you should be hitting the numbers that I give you. Like right. it's 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 non-negotiable, especially there, for but like there, weight. It is negotiable, I, I think, because there are so many things affecting your readiness uh, coming That's into true. training, That's and true. and we're not just like these machines that come into this. Is this is my that the arguments that I keep mm -hmm. hearing? For yourself. Mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> well, it could I'm, it I'm could be on, it could be day to day, fence, you know. And I'm so on the fence that I'm like. There, there's a lot of uh, I think that a lot of the barbell medicine guys use RPE, but still, th they they'll use a percentage based thing, but also mm -hmm. they'll have it co coincide with mm -hmm. RPE as well, R rate of perceived exertion for everyone no, listening. Not, I, I, not that that people, fucking matters. But <laughs> I'm chime in from the peanut gallery that uh, the positive of doing both yeah. is that for people who are not experienced in weightlifting, I know when I started. Yeah. You don't think inherently like, oh, you like, I'll, I would see numbers on a sheet and it's like, I have to squat what today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, if yeah, you yeah. just go, oh, it's RPE 8 or 7, you're like, yeah. I feel like I didn't sleep that well. And sometimes you can warm up to the point when you see those numbers and your expectation is mm. I need to hit that number today. Yeah. yeah. You can pull it out and at, by the end of the session, it feels like an 8 where I know going into the session, if I was just like rpe8 i'm gonna hit 40 pounds lower yeah, yeah it's, uh, because my brain is not it yeah. wasn't at the point where i could push through yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't have that wider approach yeah. to scale no, that's true. i think i think rpe works better for people that have at least been training one or two years and know what that feels like that's fair so rpe8 for anyone listening is <laughs> will be uh what is it two reps in reserve it, it's meant to feel like you yes. can do two more. Two. Yeah, yes, yeah, one, yes. one and a half to two yeah. reps in reserve. And yeah. not a lot of people just starting out will know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. and, and I think studies have shown that uh, people in their first year of training will massively undershoot um, uh, their RP. Uh, their yeah. RP yeah. Yeah. I, I, do, I do get it at some points. Me, personally, I don't work based off of it. But uh, that is true. Like day to day is different. I've had some people that can't hit the numbers, so we drop down like a uh, uh, like five percent, ten percent, mm -hmm. kind of build back up to it. Yeah. But I just I don't I'm not like a super big fan of RP. I'm gonna yeah. Grab so some water right quick. I think uh, let's, we'll, we'll, like we'll finish up soon. Here. Okay. Cool. Like percentages in a in a range. Like, yeah. That way you can say like oh it, it should be like fifty to sixty percent or something like that and that's like that that's your scaling okay. based on the day. It's yeah. Not yeah. Like, oh, you have to hit sixty percent. It's like. Mm -hmm. You okay. want to be like fifty to sixty. Okay. You already know. I'm feeling like ass. Yeah. Okay, Migraines are sick. Or sixty, but like. So there's the a bit of auto regulation. Yeah. yeah, but the RPE. Someone says like RPE eight. That's like just gonna. Uh, I have no idea what that's gonna look like. Yeah. No, yeah. that's true. And that's that's why like I specifically don't like use it that much because yeah. you don't know what that lift's gonna look like day to day. Yeah. You know what I mean, at least you yeah, have yeah, a, yeah. a like a specific number to work off of. You have a goal. Mm. You know, and then you can work bases of uh, percentages based off of like a one rep max or a three rep max that I do with people, mm. depending on like what they want specifically for like either strength or like endurance. And then you build up to that percentage. So especially with like power lifting numbers yeah. as well. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So those are like very, very percentage based 
kind of lifts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, <laughs> we should we should put an end to this because I'm sure anyone listening that isn't Tom Taylor is falling asleep. Yeah, uh, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I gave you guys it. I gave you guys the weightlift yeah, and thought yeah, I yeah. segued it smooth as. I don't fuck, know if bro. Andreas Luzardo is listening, but yeah. <laughs> He's Hi, Andreas, probably, if you're watching, I love you. Well. Andreas, <laughs> no, it comes um, he was actually my later. first um, like lifting coach. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did stuff with him for a couple months, and then I took it upon myself to just dive into it. He did yeah, the so. he did the whole unknown team. Yes, for a yes, bit. he did. Yeah, for he like was a, my coach for a, for a little bit as well. Yeah, Max yeah. Henry too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't Christine, mention him. Christine as well. I was on his programming for a while, and then like COVID happened. I weighed like 185 pounds at the time. Wasn't lifting for like eight months. Dropped to 165. And then I said, fuck it, built a gym in my backyard, built a platform, yeah. squat rack, barbells, weights, and I just went crazy. So, yeah. and now? JoJo's Dojo, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JoJo Dojo. Leg. I'm getting on the juice this year and coming into NAPC Ooh. next. You, like, just completely changed my whole program to be like, to work around the fact that I couldn't bear weight on one side of a body. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Sick. And like, not, didn't even, like, wasn't even. He just did it. Didn't question. Didn't like recharge me for the session. He was just like, "Nope, we're gonna change the whole thing right now." That's a good coach. Nice. Good. Yeah, literally. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good dude, that Andreas. Right, let's get into this. You guys have got to get a flight. Vinny's yes, got sir. a fucking migraine now. It's yeah. just coming on. It's not even that bad, but they get crippling and it's fucking horrid. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you so much You're for having on. us on. Seriously. Yeah, it was yeah. it was awesome. Really so. looking forward to see. Uh, what you guys bring out next year yep like yep. the documentary and and everything how, how yep. about um how about you come take a look at what we're doing come to new york and maybe hang out i would like that a lot yeah if you ever our way let us know yeah, yeah cool Perfect. just arrive just fucking materialize in new york we'll find you yeah <laughs> yeah and so. i'm very Dumped much it. looking Take forward to uh star street masters yeah uh, yeah it's gonna team be challenge fun. next year yeah yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I hope it's a big wall again. Awesome. I want a big wall, wall run photo. Kind of tilted. I'll never have that or <laughs> until there's another event. So well, see you next time. You should have just fucking well, sent maybe it the, on the day. <laughs> maybe people shouldn't fucking explode on the fucking wall and, you know, make me question shit. <laughs> um, if anyone likes our stuff, uh, you guys can follow us at Unknown Parkour on Instagram or The Unknown Project on YouTube. And Unknown Parkour on TikTok as well. Yes, we're on yes, everything. Yes, we're on everything. Yeah. So. And be on the lookout. I don't know when this is coming out, but we're dropping a new collection very, very soon. Yeah, clothing coming yeah. out soon. Yeah, 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 you like fresh months. threads. You like to look handsome, beautiful even. <laughs> be on the lookout. Speaking of beautiful, should we finish with uh, some... <laughs> the King's ah! Brother! The King's Brother is, is a pedophile! pedophile. <laughs> the way it ends! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love it. I love oh, it. Wowzers. <laughs> oh, wowzers. I was listening to Colin like, P A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A